Okay, so in this lesson we're going to look at select statements. Now, select statements basically are a query, so they return specific results from a database. So you may hear you may hear them to refer to as a search or a query. Now, select statements have a particular structure. So if you look at the structure of a select statement, first of all, you specify the fields that you want. You then select the table that you want them from. Now there may be more than one table. Then you specify the criteria. And then, this is the optional part, you may in fact specify a sort order. Now this one is optional, okay, you do not need that. And sometimes your criteria may be blank if you just want to, ex to display every record in a database, but that would depend on the, the, the example. Okay, so we are going to look at this query here. So we're looking, look, we're wanting to find all the courses that are under £500. We only need the title, the date, the capacity, the cost, and the cheapest course should be first. So our first part is we need to work out the fields that we want. So all we want is the title, the date, the capacity, and the cost. So our first part is going to be to select, and this is where we put the field name, so we need the title, we need the date, we need the capacity, and we need the cost. The next part is to specify the table that it's coming from. So in this case it's coming from the course table. So it will be from the course table. The next part is the criteria. So for this one the criteria is that the cost of the course is under £500. So what we'll say is that where cost is less than 500. Now you'll notice that we don't put the pound sign in there, the pound sign is implied, it's not actually stored. And the last part is the sort order. So this one says that the cheapest course should be first. So remember, that means that we will need to put it in ascending order. So what we'll do is we'll need to use order by. And then you see the field name, so it's ordering by the field called cost. And as it's the cheapest course that needs to be first, we would put ascending. Now the sending part is optional. If you don't imply, if you don't specify it, it will actually say that it is in ascending order. So now we'll look at the results that we would get from that. So the first thing I'm going to do is just blank out the um, field that we're not going to see. So we're not going to see course ID. We're going to keep the title, we're going to keep the date. Um, we're not interested in days for this particular um, query. So if I just get rid of the days field. We're also not interested in the instructor ID at the minute. So if we just get rid of the instructor ID as well. So we're only getting the title the date, and the capacity, and the cost. So now that we've only got the field that we're going to get back, what we're going to do is just keep the, delete the rows, that, well sorry, remove the rows that, we, that wouldn't be returned. So as we're looking for courses that are under £500, so if we just look at the rows in order, we are not going to need the BMX intro course, because that is £500, so we'll just get rid of that. We are going to keep the advanced kayaking course because that's less than 500. Gorge walking is not going to be returned, but abseiling and mountain biking will be. So that's the three results that we're going to have back. And the next thing is we're going to need to sort them into ascending order of cost. 
so just I know this will be done by the database so the first result would be mountain biking and the second result would be abseiling and the third result would be advanced kayaking because if you look at the cost here you'll see that they're in order ascending order of cost okay so the first example we had only had one single condition was, uh, and that was around cost. So th for this example here, we're going to look at courses under £500, but also the last for five days as well. So just remembering conditions, we are going to need to think about using ands and ors. Remember, an and means that both conditions have to be true, and an or means that only a condition, or only one of the conditions have to be true. So our query would look like if we do a select query, and let's just assume that we want the same details as before, uh, but at the minute we could just return all of the fields. And what we're going to do is we're then going to select from the table. So that's fine. That's still the same as before. We're going to select from the course table. It's really the conditions that's going to be different. So what we're going to say is that where the cost, now it says are under £500, so that's the same as before and that lasts for five days or less. We're going to go and say and days. Now it is important that you read this part very carefully. It lasts for five days or less. So days has got to be less than or equal to five. And last but not least, we there is a sort order that says the longest course should be displayed first. So we're going to order by the field called days and if the longest course should be first it means it needs to be in descending order because remember ascending is 0 to 9 descending is 9 to 0 or z to a so now what we're going to do is try to look at, and this is where we kind of do some testing and evaluation here. Here's the results we think we should have, and here's the order we think we should see them. So first of all, I'm just going to go down the individual um, rows and think, well, first of all, I'm going to get rid of all the courses that aren't under £500. So we don't need that one. That one is, uh, kayak is under £500, so that's okay. However, gorge walking isn't under £500, so we're going to get rid of that one. Abseiling is under £500, and mountain biking is under £500. But however, the next condition was that the days had to be less than or equal to 5, which actually means if we look at the advanced kayaking course, you'll see that its days are 6. So we're just going to get rid of the advanced kayaking course as well. And then we're going to apply our sort order, which in this case was that the days should be in descending order. So that means the longest course is going to be first. So it basically means that my results are going to look like that. So you can see that all the courses cost under £500. All the days are less than or equal to 5. And it's sorted with the longest course first.